I think it's safe to say the art community on Twitter and probably just the entire art community in general suffered its biggest loss on 5.55 am August 22, 2022. I don't know who made this decision in the clip paint studio office and really thought it was a bright idea. Like, you're really just turning your backs on everyone that was rooting for you, including me. Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about Clip Studio Paint's update to their terms of service that was announced a couple of weeks ago on Twitter. And it literally had everyone in the art community just ready to throw in the towel. Clip Studio Paint, which is probably almost every artist's favorite drawing program for the past couple of years, from just casual artists and fan artists like me to hobby artists and professional artists like me sometimes literally every digital artist had probably heard of it or at least tried it out at one point in their career and for most people in the art community they all just had good things to say about the program but then this happened So they posted an update on their official Twitter accounts linking to an article on their website which contained an announcement they had for all their fans which they're probably losing with each day now that this is up and the article reads as follows. Thank you for using Clip Studio Paint. 10 years after the initial release of Clip Studio Paint 1.0, we will be welcoming the release of version 2.0 in the first half of 2023. Over the past 10 years across over 80 free updates. We have continued to bring new features to Clip Studio Paint. However, from 2023 onwards, the current version 1 offered as a download and physical version will no longer receive feature updates free of charge. Well, that's really sad to hear, but at the same time, ouch! Version 1 will no longer receive feature updates free of charge. Why? I guess they probably just got tired of actually being helpful to the art community and decided to take the Adobe route, which is cashing out monthly by making artists pay for software with basically no additional features attached. Clip Studio Paint version 2.0 will offer a slate of new features to make use of in your digital art. At this time, there are no major changes planned to the existing features of the UI. If you are a current user of version 1.0 and will like to use version 2.0 without purchasing an additional perpetual license, you can purchase an update pass, which will be on offer from next year. So basically, if I'm already using version 1.0, I have to pay to have an update and then I don't get any features until next year. Are you all seeing this? And then. If I want version 2.0, I have to purchase it with an additional perpetual license. Perpetual, what does that even mean? Something that goes on or lasts forever. So basically a one-time license. Well, I guess that makes more sense. Customers with an update pass or a monthly plan will be able to use the most up-to-date version of the app for as long as their plan or pass is valid. Version 2.0 will also be available as a one-time purchase. <sighs> is it just me or does this sound like buying a Fortnite battle pass? So basically, they're encouraging us to switch to a monthly plan if we want to enjoy all the features of version 2.0 which releases next year but then if we can't afford that we can also just buy an update pass which is valid for one year and then you can access all the benefits that comes with updates into version 2.0 i guess i mean since i already have my version 1 perpetual license and it already has all the features that i need for drawing and i'm already comfortable with using what then is the point of updating to version 2.0 and paying for another license for that and then also paying monthly if i want feature updates i guess i'll just stick with version 1 it's not like they're going to release a ton of new features that will blow version 1 out of the water right as long as i can still draw comfortably and paint with all the tools i'm already familiar with i really don't see the need to update to a new version and pay for an entire license if i don't really need it like who even thought this was a good idea? It's as if the people at Clip Paint Studio literally forgot why everyone just dumped Photoshop and started using Clip Paint Studio in the first place. The entire Adobe Creative Suite has been always known for having ridiculous prices for their software and creative cloud services and most people just switched to Clip because you could literally just buy a one-time license and still get free updates and access to their store where you can just 
get a bunch of tools and brushes and a whole lot of other different plugins you can use for your art of course there were some brushes and packs you could pay for but the things you could do with the ones that were free were just insane and aside from that i feel like clip paint studio is probably the most comfortable software or drawing program to just draw with and it feels as if you're drawing traditionally except maybe procreate but i really wouldn't know since i haven't used procreate to draw at all so if any of you have experience drawing with procreate and drawing with clip paint studio please tell us in the comments which one is more comfortable for drawing well i guess the only way this new update will affect anybody is if they intend to upgrade from version 1.0 to version 2.0 which i really don't see the need of doing that anyway but then if you really are pressed and want to have the new version you still have to wait till next year and then you can watch reviews and see if it's even worth the upgrade at all and i also think you can buy a one-time license of version 2.0 according to what it said on their website but then you don't get any updates for the newer version except if you're paying monthly or you bought an update pass i'm sure you can guess everyone's reaction to this news on twitter people were literally clowning on silice and their update post had 25,000 quote retweets wait it, it died nah it just moved to a subscription only model you gross that's literally how me and everyone who read the details on their website absolutely felt thank you for explaining it in such concise words you freeloaders expect them to release updates and maintain servers because you paid like 25 to 50 bucks before the cloud subscriptions and monthly updates started that was exactly how softwares worked you paid for a one-time license and went on your merry way with the program and Still, you received updates whenever the developers of the app or program had updates for the software. They literally even said it on their website. That's how software is used to work, buddy. It's also profitable enough to do that. Subscriptions just give more earnings to the company. Thank you, Adobe, for making everyone stoop to your level. I think at this point, we might just end up seeing more drawing programs switch to a monthly subscription model just because it's just so easy to make more money while taking money from the artists who are still even learning how to draw and can't even make money for themselves it's like they just forgot there are people who are using clip studio paint who are literally students and people who are just drawing casually as a hobby but now they have to pay for monthly updates even though they're not making any money with their art <laughs> this person said laughs in pirates which is so funny because why should you even pay for software in the first place, right? I knew it. The lifelong license is a lie. Any alternative software recommended, like Krita? Well, I haven't used Krita, but I've seen some artists make amazing work with Krita on my timeline. So I guess you can just try it out and see if it's suitable for you and how you just make your art. But then you could also try out Medibag and Procreate. Those are also good programs for drawing and painting as well. Now, I'm not so sure if they have subscription services, but I'm sure they will not be as bad as Adobe's. If any of you know of any drawing programs that have good Good features and our great alternatives please leave them in the comments let's help all the people who are just fleeing from adobe and now clip studio paint as well but then again clip studio paint is actually a really good program and is kind of worth paying for so anyways that's all i have for you today please leave a like on the video and share it with a friend and subscribe to the channel if you're new here bye pretty penguins